If you cannot meet your mic, says pray, Madata Boraposiba, Alina Mata Boraposiba, Shana Madabaya Baba, Arena Mata Boraposiba, Shana Madabala Bacana Baba,
Alina Madapora Pasiba Pora 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 Pora
Let nothing distract you as you pray. As we step into a new week, Karima Daba Baba Baba Powers been activated as we pray. Shut up, I am a rabble, 
Our God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask for thee. Rabo, 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 shanama. Rabo, 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 shika. Adaya. Rabo, rabo, shanama. Rabo, rabo, shanama. Shanama, adaya. Rabo, 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 shanama. Arima, zaba, rabo, as you join us, let's pray. Madabo, rabo, zaba, rabo, arima, zaba, rabo, rabo, rabo,
Distraction of praying, my double Ramosima de Mushana, my double Ramosima, a rebabo, rabo, rabo, shada, papa, rima, zana, madama, papa, 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 Let's pray to the new day, to the new week. That the Holy Ghost will order all the steps. We pray to every hour, every minute, every second of the day. I have been the week. As you pray, you prophesy to the weak. Commit every conversation, every transaction to my Arabo, Shadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabadabad
Holy Spirit, go ahead of us. We ask you go ahead of us. We ask you go ahead of us. For your strength, Shut 
Father, we activate success for the week. We prophesy success over the week. Productivity. Help us to be productive. We pray for divine inspirations in the name of Jesus. Solutions in the name of Jesus. Connections in the name of Jesus. Pray that this week will be unusual. Yes, with testimonies in the name of Jesus, unusual. Ramadibo Rabosi Kata Baba 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 Ba
Father, we prophesy that every need is met in the name of Jesus. As we pray for ourselves, we pray for our children, we pray for our spouses in the name of Jesus. We declare good news over the wind in the name of Jesus. Good news, oh God, over every activity. Lord, Mada Moshana, Mada Baba, we are back on good news, good news in the name of Jesus. Mada Moshana, Mada Baba, 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 Baba,
re ba ba bo sha da ba 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 
made of us in the name of Jesus. Uh, and a fire goes before him, uh, burns up all his enemies in the name of Jesus. Uh, and thank him that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Uh, every time that she rise up against us, and judgment is condemned. Uh, in the name of Jesus, he will not allow evil, evil to befall us, uh, not allow plagues to come, to come near a dwelling place. Uh, in the name of Jesus, thank you because you give your discharge. Uh, ah, Thank you, Lord, for divine connections in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for everyone that is here, Lord. Uh, Lord, in the evening time or morning time, there we thank you. Thank you for their faithfulness. Uh, thank you for their faithfulness. Uh, thank you, Lord, because you reward uh, those that diligently seek you. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Lord, thank you for every those things that Lord we might have given up on. Lord, that you revive it. Oh Lord, Madabushana Madaba. Oh Lord, Madabushana Madaba. Lord, we say thank you. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you for a divine revelation. In the name of Jesus that is released in Jesus' name. Revelation knowledge that is released in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Thank you for strength, Lord. Thank you for strength and for grace that is available to all of us. Thank you for this season of our lives. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for revealing to us the things that the Father has prepared for us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for the things that you reveal to us. Thank you for the things that you reveal to us. Thank you for the things that you reveal to us. That you would reveal to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, we are grateful to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, In the name of Jesus. Lord, remember nations, Lord, in the name of Jesus, are going through distress. We ask for your divine intervention over those matters in the name of Jesus. Our loved ones, Lord, that are not saved, we ask that you save them. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, we ask that you convict their hearts unto righteousness. In the name of Jesus, 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 Thank you for the wells. Thank you, Holy Thank you for the gold and the honey, oh God, that has been released. Ah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Thank you for the release of documents for your people in the name of Jesus. Babu Shadamana And we are grateful, we are grateful to him that he first loved us. Hallelujah, we did find him, he found us. Hallelujah, made provision for us even before the foundation of the world. to reveal it to us. 
Amen. His eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared. You, I, I said to her, I said we were in a session yesterday, I was in a session yesterday um, that I normally have on Saturdays with a group of people, and I said the best of your plans does not match the best of God's plan for you. It doesn't matter how much we imagine the best, the best, the best, you know. You can have knowledge to, to, to imagine whatever it is. It's still a limited thought because his ways are higher than our ways. His plans for us, his thoughts towards are higher. Mm. My God. Oh, God. And I would love to know his plans for me. Mm. I would love to know his plans <clears throat> for me. Hallelujah. So that I don't settle for less. Mm. And I pray that that's your desire. That the Holy Spirit would reveal God's plans for us so that we do not settle for less. Mm. We are busy settling for less, brethren, consciously or unconsciously. But I would encourage us to stop and ask the Holy Ghost. Mm. Since I did not make myself, the psalmist says, it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. So the manufacturer must have a plan he must have an intention he has a purpose you're not here by accident doesn't matter how you came you are not here by accident you're not here by accident amen you're not a mistake uh. your parents might say something but you're not a mistake amen. he is the master planner hallelujah yes. so we must stop to ask father what what is it that you have in store for me what is it that you've planned for me may i not miss it in the name of jesus amen, amen. may we fulfill his amen. purpose and his plans for us amen. that he will be glorified in the name of jesus Just a glimpse of it, even in fact, will bring joy to your heart. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's go to Acts chapter 11, please. Thank you, Lord. Talking about plans, we could see that the Lord had a plan for this household. This man called Cornelius, God had a plan for him. He was he was doing what he was doing, you know, generously. But God had a plan. God had a greater plan. Not just for him, but for his entire household. So definitely has a plan for you. Amen. Amen. Can I have please a please have the first reader? Let's read together and let's feast on God's word in Jesus' name. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants yeah. to bring to our attention. Can I have the first person read from verse one to verse nine, please? Oh, and you're in me? Acts chapter 11 from verse 1 to verse 9. And if we could read okay. the New King James Version, it would be great. Thank you. New, no, listen, transfer. New King James. N K T V. Okay. Thank you. Let me get that version. Okay, let the person go there go. I'll find it for me the next one. I'm looking for the version. What version do you have there? Oh, okay. okay yeah. I found it. Excellent. Go ahead. <laughs> um, and Kate, JV. Yes, thank you. Okay. 
Now the apostle and the brethren who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. And when Peter came up to Jerusalem, those of the circumcision contended with him, saying, you went in to the uncircumcised men and ate with them. Peter, but Peter explained it to them in order for the beginning. Saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision, an object descending like a great sheet, let down from heaven by four corners, and it came to me. When I observed it intently and considered, I saw four footed animals of the earth and wild bees, creeping things, and birds of the air. And I heard a voice saying me to me, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean has at any time entered my mouth. Nine, but the voice answered me again from heaven. What God has cleansed, you must not call common. Thank you very much, Miss Elliot. Thank you. Can I have the next reader please read from verse 10 to verse 18? Now, this was done three times, and all were drawn up again into heaven. At that very moment, three men stood before the house where I was, having been sent to me from Caesarea. Then the Spirit told me to go with them, doubting nothing. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, and we entered the man's house. And he told us how he had seen an angel standing in his house, who said to him, Send men to Joppa and call for Simon whose surname is Peter, who will tell you words by which you and all your household will be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as upon us at the beginning. Then I remembered the word of the Lord, how he said, John indeed baptized with water, but you shall, bapt but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If therefore God gave them the same gift as he gave us when we believed on Jesus Christ, on the Lord Jesus Christ. Who was I that I could withstand God? When they heard these things, they became silent and they glorified God, saying, Then God has also granted to the Gentiles repentance to life. Amen. Amen. Can I have the next reader please read from verse 19 to verse 26. Verse 19, it reads, Now those who were scattered after the persecutions that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Pinochia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but the Jews only. But some of them were men from Cyprus and Cyrene, who, when they had come to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists, preaching the Lord Jesus and the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned to the Lord. The news of these things came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent out Anabas to go as far as Antioch. And when he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all that with purpose of heart they should continue with the Lord. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great, and, 
a great many people were added to the Lord. Yeah, keep going. Then Barnabas departed for Tessus to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for a whole year they assembled with the church and taught a a great many people. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Thank you. Can I have the next video to read from verse 27 um, to the end? Thanks. Just a few more verses. Thank you, PP. I'll take it, ma'am. And in these days, prophets came from Jerusalem to Antioch. Then one of them, the named Agabus, stood up and showed, showed by the Spirit that there was going to be a great famine throughout all the world. It also happened in the days of Claudius Caesar. And then the disciples, each according to his ability, determined to send relief to the brethren dwelling in Judea. This, is also, this also they did, and sent to the elders by the lands of Barnabas and Saul. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. I'm going to read um, the Passion Translation of verse 26. And if you can follow me, you would see what the Passion Translation says. That together, Saul and Barnabas ministered there for a full year, equipping the growing church and teaching the vast number of new converts. It was at Antioch that the followers of Jesus were first revealed as anointed ones. There is an additional um, um, notes in the in the Passion translation. Um, if you if you if you there, but I'll read it. Verse twenty six or um, as revealed as anointed ones or Christians. The Greek word krematizo means supernaturally revealed, imparted, more than simply called. They were not just simply called Christians. It was by divine revelation. It was by divine revelation that that name or that identity or, or yeah, that the identity was revealed. It was by a supernatural revelation. Um, I know the King James Version puts it like, um, I think it puts it like it, it was a nickname. Um, but the Passion Translation has, has, has gone further to explain that it was a supernatural revelation that the Christians were identified as anointed ones. Now we know that, well, if you don't know, maybe some people might not know, the name Christ means anointed, the anointed, the anointed one. Um, some people say Jesus Christ. Christ is not Jesus' surname. Okay, so he's Jesus, the anointed one. I'm going further to say Jesus, the anointed one in his anointing. So they were identified as anointed ones, not the capital anointed, but small, which means that they had been derived from Christ. They were identified that they had been with Christ, there was something that they had seen in Christ that was now on them, and it was revealed by revelation. It was a first, it was first in Antioch, that the revelation came that the believers were anointed ones, were anointed ones. Um, I don't just want to stop there, but I, I, I just want to just emphasize on that, emphasize on that, that who we are, you know, I, you hear people say, people can identify us in the spirit. Um, people of uh, people of darkness, they, they say that when they see Christians, there's a light that so they see, there's something about them that makes them stand out. Um, say that these people are, are they're not ordinary they are they are and and I'm, I'm saying that to bring it to our attention brethren that this life that we have been called to live is not an ordinary life I, I pray that even as other people see us we would also desire that God would open our eyes to see who we are 
talked about his original plan for us and who we really are. You are not just that sister, that brother, you know, that woman, that man. If you have been born again, you have been born into a new life. And we are not, we are not just saying this thing about a new life, a new life, and then, you know, we go keep on going back to the old. The old has really gone. Yes, it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual um, 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 birth. But really, in the spirit, you're no longer the old man. Yes, your physical body hasn't changed. Yes, your mind has to be renewed. But the old has gone. And we are born of the spirit. He who is born of the spirit is spirit. The Lord is reminding us again to this. You're not ordinary. If you've been born in Christ, there is a new identity of you as one who is anointed. Let me say, I'm not, I'm not anointed. I'm this for that. No. If you are born of the Spirit, there is an anointing that is upon you. Because you have been predestined even before the foundation of the world. You did not call yourself. You didn't find Christ. He found you. I think it was Nathaniel when he came to Christ. He said, I saw you under the tree. He said, oh, now I believe. He says, because I said, I saw you. Is that why you believe? God has a plan for us. And it's not an ordinary plan that he has. It would only remain ordinary to us if we keep on looking with the natural eyes. And in fact, the natural eyes have nothing to reveal to you. The natural eye has nothing. In fact, the natural eye is just caught up in the world of trouble. So we keep on looking with our natural eyes. We'll keep on sinking. If we keep on doing that, we would miss out on the engagement, miss out on the high calling on, even on the highest call, we miss out on the life that God wants. We'll just miss out on everything. But if we press in, we press into the world that we have been born into to understand that there is an anointing that has been released upon us. And we desire to fully walk in that identity. Life will not be the same. Life will not be the same. And the life is not just for us to see all the demonic things that are going, oh, come on now. It's to see the glorious things as well that God wants to reveal to us and also wants to bring into the natural. But he needs us. He needs us to fulfill that transaction. So we see here a man that these people, look, 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 look I would say is like contended with, with Peter. They contended with Peter like, what, what are you going to do in this man's house? You know, he, he's not, he's not qualified. They contended Verse 2, when Peter came to Jerusalem, those of the circumcision contended with him. Why did you go to that uncircumcised man and ate with him? Peter was like, hey guys, this has nothing to do with me. I was almost saying I was minding my business, doing what I had to do, and the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord. The Lord, I heard a voice, rise, kill, and eat. The Lord, it was the Lord, because it says, and he said, no, not so, Lord. It was the Lord that visited Peter, prepared his heart 
to go to one man's house. Not just his house, but his entire household, in fact. And he had to explain that I did not even want to do it, but he did not, <laughs> he didn't stop. I could not resist what he wanted to do. I tried, but he told me three times. Three times. And he said, verse 12 says, and the spirit told me, when the people came to him, he said, the spirit told me, go with them, doubting nothing. Go with them, doubting nothing. My hand is upon this guy. This is my agenda. There's an agenda for God, of God upon your life that the enemy cannot contend with. Doesn't matter who, whether the enemies, whether they're not, because Peter wasn't really not an enemy of Cornelius, but he, he was just not in that culture or he had not, you know, it was it was out of their their own remit or what they or they believe that Christ had only come for the gen for the Jews, for you know, they were of the elite, they were a special people, and God was saying, Listen, I came for all. I came for all. I came for all. Go doubting nothing. The thing I love about Cornelius, he did not doubt God's visitation. He didn't doubt when Peter came because the Lord had revealed what he needed to reveal to him. Not everybody would approve of what God wants to do in your life, but you remain focused. It's very important. Why you? Why not you? Even when you ask yourself, why me? Ask yourself that question again. Why not me? <laughs> why not me? And he gave an account. That as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them. As upon at the beginning. Therefore, God gave them the same gift as he gave us when we believed on the Lord Jesus. So who was I to withstand God? Who was I? And the question is still relevant to us today. Who are we to withstand God? Who are we? I'm not looking at somebody else outside. I'm really asking us, who are we to withstand what God wants to do in our own lives? Because he can't stop and nobody can stop him. I pray that we don't stop him either. There's a plan for you. There's a plan for us. Tell yourself, God has a plan for me. God has a plan God for has me. A plan for me. I might not know it now, but he has a plan. I might not have insight into it, but he has a plan. I might not have asked about it, but he has a plan. He has a plan. And who am I to withstand him? The Bible says when they heard these things, they became silent. Their accusation became irrelevant. They, they themselves just knew that, okay, okay, hands off. This was God indeed. This was a hand of the Lord. God truly wanted this man in his household to be saved. 
And I pray that we find peace in him. In the name of Jesus. As he reveals his plans to us, we would find peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wherever you are. As the Holy Spirit reveals God's plans to us, because he reveals. Pray that we'll find peace. Our hearts will not be troubled. Because he who has called us is faithful. Amen. He's never called a man and not equipped them. See the work that Paul and, and, and Barnabas did to encourage the church. Hallelujah. And look at what the Holy Spirit revealed. He won't call you and leave you alone. He would, he would connect you. He sets the solitary in families. He'll connect you with the right people at the right time. In the name of Jesus, so that he will be glorified. I'm going to stop here this morning. Please take time to read and be encouraged by this word. Amen. Because there's grace that's available. There's grace. Verse 23 says, when he came and heard and see the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged the church, the believers, encouraged them, that they, them with a, with a purpose that they should continue with the Lord. When he saw the grace, he was glad. There is grace that is available for God's people. There's grace that is available for God's people. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Be encouraged, child of God. Be encouraged wherever you are. Um, if you are, if you have a local church where you where you worship, please go with a heart filled with joy, with joy, with joy. Hallelujah. And be a blessing in the name of Jesus. Go with your joint ready to supply. You might not be part of the team that might be ministering at the altar or whatever, but be a blessing to